Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel. This is part two of uh, the Michel Antonio experiment, where basically he said he could score 30 goals a season if he was up front for Man City or the chances they create. In the first part, he did pretty well. I think he, he got, I think it was 28 goals. Well, this is season two. So we'll see how he does in season two. As you can see, I haven't, I haven't looked at anything yet. I've just literally just the inbox. So basically, we will jump in and see how well he has done, and we'll see how well Man City have done as well. So if we go to the home, might take a bit of a while to load. Oh, what the hell? Bloody. Ladybugs just fell on me. It's a bit of a... It's a bit random. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the video. Uh, well, as you can see, Man City have not done very well. They've came fourth. Uh, top goal scorer is Erling Haaland. Board on, very happy. Uh, if we jump into competitions... Uh, won the FA Cup, won the Carabao Cup, won the Community Shield. Uh, and Michael Antonio was top goal scorer for Man City in the FA Cup. Um, if we click on that, let's see, they beat Sheffield United 4 1. That's. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, Mikel Antonio got four goals, so he's doing well in getting the goals. <clears throat> uh, Carabao Cup Harland was the top scorer, and they beat West Ham 3 1. Shall we see if he scored in the final? No, De Bruyne, Foden, and Harland. He did play though. Uh. I just thought, where's European competition? Well, they're not in European competition, that doesn't seem right. Oh, it's just not showed it on there. Um, well, yeah, if we filter... Oh, crap. Press the wrong button. If we filter the Champions League, they had Marseille, Juventus, and Sevigny. I don't know how you say that. Where are they from? From Serbia. Um, they beat Marseille, lost Juventus, beat them 5 0, beat them 8 0 there. Uh, Juventus, they went, then went on and beat Juventus, lost to Marseille. They went to this Champions League round of 16 and lost 5-3 on ag aggregate. Um, I don't know why that went on the competitions, but normally that would show up. So, not the greatest run in that. Um, Carabao Cup. Barnsley, Everton, Leicester, Bournemouth, West, that was pretty easy for them. Um, we have a look at the FA Cup. Oh, replay at Leeds, Preston 7 0, Leicester 5 1, Liverpool in extra time 4 3, West Ham and Sheffield United. <coughs> that seemed to be Antonio's competition for scoring goals. Uh, yep. Yeah. So let's have a look at their the the league. See, they do they're doing well in the league. They lost the odd game, but not like you know, it's not like a massive thing of losses. If we go back to the Premier League, yeah, Rashford was the top scorer. Um, yeah. Lost nine games at the end. Man United lost ten. They just drew less. <laughs> Leicester Leeds Preston went down. Um, 
sorry so this is and let's have a look Mikhail Antonio played 52 games 26 goals so not quite 30 again two less than last season I mean he's 34 as well he's getting on but I mean he's scoring he's scoring a fair few goals when you look at Man City, 75 appearances, 36 goals. So, I mean, he's doing well. Not quite 30 goals a season, but 15 in the league. He, ne he never played in the... How come he never played? The, what is going on with the Champions League? He never played in the Champions League. That's weird. Because say you look at like Kevin De Bruyne, he did. That is weird. Like I wonder why he didn't play in European competition. Because when I put go on holiday, I've got to use match tactics and current team selection when possible. So why did he just not play any? That is weird. He played everything else except in the Champions League. I mean, his attributes are holding. His pace, stamina, acceleration, yeah, they're going to go down, but that's because he's 34. That's weird that why didn't he not why didn't he play in the Champions League? Because he's firmly embedded in there. Um Medical report. Mm, he ain't been injured. <clears throat> That's really weird. If anyone knows why that happens. I mean, I'd love, I'd love an explanation, but it just does not make sense. And the fact like competitions as well, like you can't scroll across, can you? But they haven't put normally. Normally, like one of these are like bunched up, aren't they? They're a lot smaller. Eleven points off Liverpool, though that's not very good. I mean, there's been transfer offers made for players as well. Was any was any transfers made? A Tete on a free transfer in. <laughs> that was it. Because I did I did let the director of football bring people in. Obviously, he hasn't felt it necessary. And they've just promoted like, some of the youngsters and that. It's just weird. It's like the Champions League just wasn't important. Because I wonder if how many goals he would have got if he would have played them. Well, oh, anyway, that is season two. Um, I might do a season three just to see how well he does. Because he's got to be coming... <coughs> He'll probably be coming close to retirement as well, to be fair. So maybe try and get one more season out of him. But yeah, that is... Mikhail Antonio Challenge. Um, if you've enjoyed that... Give me a nice thumbs up. Give give your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, ask um, if you know why the champ. What's going on with the Champions League? I'd like to know that. But yeah, it's, it's weird to me. Um, but anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Give me a, a subscribe as well as well as a like and a comment and 
I shall see you guys again soon for season three of Michael Antonio at Man City. See you later, guys.